We are in the home stretch, so really, really pleased with the progress. We're hoping to be out of here by the end of day tomorrow. What do you think, bud? I think it looks awesome. <laughs> build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. What is up everybody? We've got Chris and Jack over here. Jack is feverishly working on getting all the electric set up oh, today yeah. so that we can get the GoPro set up so you guys can catch all the time lapse or all the progress. It's just the two of us today so far. And this morning we are going to be working on the seam going from the pond liner to the wetland filter liner. Here is the area where we are going to connect the two pieces. This is that pond liner that goes all the way back over there. We do have one seam that we've already done somewhere back over underneath that bridge. This is going to be a 25 by 35 piece of liner in through here. We already have our area excavated for 12 small aqua blocks. Snorkel centipede down there. We're going to do a long narrow trough of aqua blocks and then we have all of our cobbles, boulders, and then we have super sacks of gravel. We've got two more on the truck, but first things first is going to be getting the double sided tape, which is this seam tape right here applied to the pond liner and then we will bring our bog liner that's sitting back over there in get that attached and of course our cover tape then we'll put some more fabric down and then go ahead and construct our wetland filter so because there's only two of us today well jack counts as like three people with the amount of work he can get done in the day but because it's only he and myself we're gonna need a couple extra sets of hands today and is as you can see right over there that Irwin clamp that's gonna be a second set of hands so we're gonna go ahead and clamp this liner down to these two by twelves and go ahead and get our liner nice and taut then we'll clean it off dry it with the heat gun and then go ahead and apply our primer and then get that double-sided tape. We've got a lot of work that we're gonna try and accomplish today, being just the two of us. I think we can do it. So without further ado, let's get rolling. Here is our double-sided tape. You can tell the clamps helped out a heck of a lot. We got that liner nice and taut. Now we're gonna bring the bog liner, prime it and attach it to the double-sided tape. And then we will do our prime and cover tape like you've seen us do before. Jack's over here patiently waiting because he's ready to roll today. Have you had your coffee today? No, oh, I didn't. And you're this ambitious? Yeah. You're amazing. That's what it's like when you are 20 years old, folks. Yeah, and not old like Chris. That's right. Okay, ready? Let's go.
Nice, Hanson. Hey, hey, we're back hey, out here, hi. huh? You're back out here. Look, who's talking? <laughs> right there. He's <laughs> back. He's back. Yeah, so we got the wetland done. Jack and I did the seam this morning, got the aqua blocks in, centipede, snorkel aqua blocks, and then our cobbles, gravel, all that stuff. So now it's the fun part. I think what's a cool design element that uh, you really wanted to see happen was to get deep water in here. Yep. So often, a lot of times when we put these wetland filters in stream and that kind of stuff, sometimes it's only four inches of water or it's starting off an upper pool, starting off a waterfall, but this is going to have like a foot of water in here, which is gonna be a really, really cool effect. We've got three spheres that we're gonna work up in here into the waterfalls, also into the wetland, and then kind of do that bouldery sphere waterfalls. Yeah. And it's gonna be awesome. So one thing they 100% wanted was the spheres. First time she saw the spheres, she fell in love with them. She said, I don't care where you incorporate them, just get them in here. So we've got the wetland in here, which was so important just because of the size of the pond. A single biofalls or two biofalls on a pond this big, this deep, just wouldn't adequately filter it. So we've got a decent sized wetland in here, roughly eight by 12. Yep. Ish. Yep. Eight by 12 wetland, single centipede, snorkel. Now we want to get these spheres in here. Now remember, they used to have a waterfall, like face that way, not really towards a lot over in there. And then it kind of came down. It was just awkward. We're not going to really have a waterfall as much as these vertical elements. We do have a little extra liner. So we have some real estate that way. If we feel like we want to put a sphere over there, maybe one over there, maybe one down here. We also have to incorporate a, another bridge into this pond so that's right we have one two three bridges on this pond and we're still kind of going back and forth on what we're going to do here so i think the next step is just kind of play around with these spheres see where they look good over in here they're light enough that we can kind of move them around get an idea of what they look like from the main viewing area and then once we've located where we want to keep those guys then we can kind of figure out where we want to dig out more and this is why we always give ourselves extra liners so we're not handcuffed to creativity or hand up to the shape of our water feature off of the liner. We have extra liner, we can kind of manipulate that and do a lot more with it. So you can see Jack and Chris just putting these things together. Uh, we got a small, a medium, and a large. Chris is putting together the large. The large actually comes together in, I believe, four pieces. The medium's four too? Yep, and then the small's just one, the one Just singular. one piece, yeah. Yep. So we are back. You guys have probably enjoyed the progress. We are well underway in this wetland filter. We got Jack and I kind of dodging some raindrops. He's over there staying dry in the machine, but he's setting some rock. We are flying through this area and through here. You can see we've got our spheres set that we talked about earlier in the video. The thing I love about the spheres isn't so much, well, it really is the fountainscape portion of the feature. Uh, and it adds such a unique element to any waterscape, any water garden, any water feature that we're building. But what I love about it, there are the three different sizes on this one, and it really mimics the stone selection that we have here. We have small, medium, and large. Also what it does is it's gonna give some additional height and interest over here in the wetland filter. We're gonna have about a foot of water over top of all of this. We just set this large stepping stone. You can see it's kind of a triangle shape. If I get over top of it, it's this triangle shape. So the idea is, is we already have a number of bridges running through here. We've got the peekaboo bridge over there. We've got another one over there. It's just, we wanna encourage interactivity. That's the whole goal of this project. So we set this one as a big landing to step and kind of walk onto the patio. Right now I've got to get a stone back in here to help shape this peninsula out. This existing patio will come right up to the back side of all this. Then I will work along this side. We are going to, we made a game day decision yesterday also to run some more of that architectural brick wall in here to tie in what we've already done along this back edge, that serpentine brick wall that that patio is going to come up out over the top of. We're going to mimic that over here and incorporate that in as a design element. Also so we can go straight up and down
down, making this area feel very, very large and big. We're not having to stack rock or put some of these large boulders that have a lot of girth eating up some of this surface area space. So really, really cool in there. We're going to set another stone in here, really choke this thing down, and then maybe we'll set a stepping stone somewhere back in there. We'll just kind of wait and see what happens once we set this boulder here, how far out into the bog slash pond it's going to come. So Jack and I are going to set a lot of rock today. It's about 1030. As I said, the weather is going to be a factor today, but we just don't know when. The weathermen were completely wrong yesterday and we were out here to be able to get some stuff done. So Jack, how you feeling today? Ladies and gentlemen, he is available. He is single. He's looking to mingle. Jack Pazinski, everybody. You ready to roll today? I'm ready to set some rock. You're doing a great job already, man. We've already set this entire pond area in through here. I'm going to go ahead and work our way up into there and try and chew up all of this rock that we had delivered yesterday. So big day today. Looking forward to it. Let's go. filling the pond. We rinsed it yesterday, got everything cleaned up, and now the brick wall on all sides of the pond is now done. We are working on putting in the decomposed granite walkway all in through here, which leads you around over to this bridge, but also to the sunken seating area back over there, kind of the informal fire pits. We are going to kind of finish up all these areas, work our way out. We've got to put an overflow in back over behind the skimmer, running over to a storm drain, or close to a storm drain, back over in that corner back over there then we're gonna push our way this way we're gonna dig out for a patio addition use that dirt flip it up put it over there we're gonna fill in back over behind that large boulder get all the grading done the electricians out here we can't do anything more with this edge until the patio people come so we're hoping that that happens relatively quickly and then we are going to push our way back through this area I wanted to get the DG in so that we have a empty truck so that we can start putting some of this stuff as we're working our way out getting it out of here so it's a beautiful day we had a lot of rain overnight so it made things kind of wet you can see we've got the plastic mats we use quite a bit or frequently on job sites just to keep things nice and clean helps run our wheelbarrows back and forth so we're going to finish up the walkway finish up all the stuff behind me kind of work our way out and we are in the home stretch so really really pleased with the progress we're hoping to be out of here by the end of day tomorrow so finish line is quickly approaching so we're excited about that so here's jack we also have some steppers that we have to put in these are going to we're going to put one right over here and then we will do a series of steppers going that way to the patio edition so yes it's going to look incredible as they say in España mm -hmm. you know where that is right yes. España yeah yep okay Home stretch. 
stretch. We've got the pond completely rocked in. We had to do some manipulation of some of the plumbing due to a little mix up on my part, but um, we are now up and running. We got some extra hands out here. We got Ed the Pond Professor out here. And then we also have Juan running the dingo right now. We are in the middle of kind of working our way out of this, out of the, the property. We did a lot of, I don't want to say damage, but we definitely made a mess um, over the last six months of being out here on and off with the different elements and that kind of stuff. So we are redressing everything and regrading it with some fresh topsoil. We are going to overseed it, put some straw blanket down, give the homeowners, DJ and Shannon, a fighting chance of getting fresh grass to grow back here. The only thing that they have to do is water that and enjoy this brand new water feature. You can see we've got the spheres and bog running up behind me. We had to drain everything down to rework some of the plumbing. So we are actually refilling it up. That also caused it to get a little murky, but settle out in the next few days. But we are, like I said, home stretch and it could not feel better. We've got a beautiful day. It's about 75, sun is shining and it is breezy. And Jack is working on his suntan burn. Oh yeah, be happy about that one. <laughs> <laughs> so Jack, you're working through some of this topsoil, just kind of grading out all the little clumps and that kind of stuff. Yes, sir. Awesome. How does it feel to be like so close to the finish line? It's a, uh, it's a good feeling. Yeah. Sad we won't be here again, but uh, no, it's it's been awesome. So. I'm sure because of the the work that you, myself, Jack, Jack, Juan, Brian, Ed, everybody, Dan, all the guys that have been on it have done such a good job. I think they'll let us back. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Hopefully. To come back out and enjoy it with them, but they are definitely going to be enjoying this uh, before the weekend. So. Here is that uh, seated area, almost done, putting all the straw blanket down. You can see where we don't have straw blanket, those are gonna be planting beds in through there. Looks so good. Oh man, pond is full. It's already starting to clear back up. Looks incredible. Juan, what do you think? Good, right? Yeah. Did a good job today. Huge help. Jack, you too. Oh, he's getting his, his protein shake in. Oh yeah. Good, that's good. There's that sphere area. You can see this is that informal step area. This looks so awesome. Patio guy's coming out tomorrow, button that up. Can't wait to show you all the afters once this thing is planted up and mulched. It looks so sweet. Color changing lights on everything. Ed's finishing touches over here. What do you think, bud? I think it looks awesome. <laughs> it's incredible. I love it. Very cool design. Love the meandering, you know, long pond system. Visible from all different types of areas from inside the house as well as outside. Hidden areas. You got the one seating area immediately out. You got have the, kind of the office area that's looking out at the urn. Different view from the fire pit. Walkways going around everything. Yeah, just awesome. Do you wish you were on this project the whole time, like us? After hearing about all the fun that you had, I yeah, it's killing me. You I know. know. <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> Torrential rains getting pulled off. Winter time, muck, mud. Uh, pretty much so that's a yes. Everything. That's a yes, oh, yeah. You know, that's got my name all over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks so good. Water's oh, already starting incredible. to clear up a little bit. We marked it up pretty good today. Oh, this waterfall. Is this bridge? Peekaboo bridge? Mm. Look at that. Ripping through there. A little over full. Just barely. There's that pump fault. We've got our circulation jet pump and our bog pump in there. And then we've got our main waterfall pump in the skimmer box. And this is that upper stream area. Look at that waterfall. That's so cool. That water is super thick coming through there. I love this area up top. Waterfalls has a lot happening. Got a tall drop, bunch of splits. Of course, we've got the fire rock right here, which we will demonstrate later. The upper pool is awesome. It's about a foot of water and it shallows up, picks up velocity right down over there and then gets super thick coming through that pitcher style falls. I just love how the patio gets a bite taken out of it by the fire rock. It's so cool. We need a little bit more height, I think over here on the left side of the berm. Yeah. You know, yep. I don't think those ferns and baileys are going to cut it, but we're getting there. They clearly have a want to have a green thumb. So you've got some impatience. They love color out here. That's for sure. And they're well on their way.
I cannot wait for you guys to see this thing in a year, two years, five years, and see this thing completely mature. We have now laid the foundation for what will be a forever kick-ass outdoor living space. There is so much happening here with multiple seating areas. You've got the patio right outside the door. You've got the in-home office that faces the entire backyard. You've got sunken seating areas. You've got an enormous fire pit patio behind me. You've got the fire rock right off of the waterfalls to sit and enjoy. There's gathering spaces for two people. There's gathering spaces for 15 people. And there's these meandering pathways linking everything together. Such a killer design. And I think we nailed it on the execution of this. I can't be more proud of the team that put this together. It was a hard one. We were out here a long time. But DJ Shannon, thank you so much. I know you're grateful. And you now have an incredible water feature that is the entire backyard for you to enjoy for the rest of your lives and your kids' lives, so on and so forth. So thank you to them. Thank you to you guys, the viewers out there. Let us know what you think in the comments. If you have any questions, ask it in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Hit the little notification bell so that you can stay up to date on all the stuff that we're coming out with three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you around.